Hi everyone, my name is Berenice Rebaca. I'm a first year master's student in Dr. Cohen's lab, and my research focuses on the life history and reproductive behavior of a small six rate star, Leptosterius. I chose this research as sister populations are decreasing due to being heavily impacted by sister wasting disease and climate change. In fact, some species belonging to Leptosterius have been threatened by this disease, with some populations disappearing in central California. One species in particular, Leptosterius bacilli, was impacted by sister wasting disease and may potentially need repopulation assistance in the future. Coltrane Leptosterius embryos has been proven to be extremely difficult as studies on development of brood-carrying sea stars are scarce. Here, broods collected from the field were reared using methods mimicking natural conditions with and without parental care. These rearing methods successfully produced juveniles in all 12 clitches, which is apparently the first time in these species. With daily observations, we now have first documentation of diet, where juvenile leptosterias were found to eat various foods, including frozen squid, cocoa pods, mussel, juvenile litterines, juvenile lacuna, and newly settled barnacles. In fact, when juvenile leptosterias are supplied with a constant food, of litterine snails, lacuna snails, and barnacles. They doubled in size within about two months. And at about 10 months in age and at 13 plus millimeters in length, the formation of their unique pattern can be seen as adult leptosterias are known for bright coloration and beautiful patterns. I am proud to announce my year-long success in raising these remarkable stars, which has never been done before. This great achievement gave us insights into understanding their life history as a developmental biology of various marine organisms, including asteroids, which are also known as sea stars, is understudied and in cases of brood development, it is considered rare. This is important as leptosterias hold an important role in the intertidal community as they are considered top predators in the intertidal by keeping many other species in check and their absence will cause major disruption to the marine ecosystem. In general, we need more basic life history information and studies in order to improve conservation and recovery plans. And lastly, I would like to express my gratitude towards the ARCS Foundation, San Francisco State, Dr. Sarah Cohen, and the entire Cohen Lab for supporting this project. Thank you. I Anybody think it's Sí, sí.